I am speechless. What's good? It's a boy do the views and heavy spoilers for chapter 138 of Attack on Titan. You have been warned. The raw spoilers of Attack on Titan has pretty much been released with some rough translations of it. And I just thought, let's just review it overall. So without further ado, let's check it out. So the chapter pretty much starts off with all the Malians. I think they're from um, the Liberio area. And all the Colossal Titans are just crumbling and falling down. And yeah, they're, they're pretty much fallen. And then you have Falco basically landing. And does he have a shirt in this scene? <laughs> That's pretty cool, but a little bit like... No, it's just a little like it looks like a shirt, but it's kind of a net. And the rumbling has stopped. Jean mentions that is Aaron dead, and then Mika's is just like she's getting like she's just feeling very anxious about the whole situation. She flashbacks to when Aaron said that Ackermans only get headaches when they are just a slave of no free will. And I think that was the last time Aaron pretty much spoke to her. And she doesn't want that to be the last time she speaks to him. And then Gabby reunites with her mom and dad. Piek reunites with her father, Falco re and reunites with his parents and it's just it's good times and Annie and her dad and it's just oh, it's all good times to be honest with you it's all good times but right now he's still down and he's still fighting Armin he what the heck dude like look at that crater he created like my gosh him turning into the class of titan and Reiner is pretty much down is he dead is he alive I don't know we'll find out later on but yeah, he's alive actually. <laughs> and this weird um, centipede thing that we saw from the beginning of chapter 137, that's kind of like the origin of the founding titan. It's still alive and you have to kind of take it down. So then Aaron also transforms and this is Aaron's new form. Like, look at that form. Look at that. Like, look at the hair. Look at the body. Aaron's pretty much the closer titan in this form. Like, he looks different compared to like the weird skeleton titan thing he looks more like this is like the full final form of the founding titan his hair is so long in this bit and yeah gabby basically takes the word out of my mouth this is definitely bad and it's like Aaron and ryan are about to have a showdown then you got our gal Mikasa just kind of saying why must things end like this seeing her two childhood friends kind of duke it out and fight it out to the death and oh my gosh it looks really insane and then you pretty much um Ryan is basically like what's going on with the centipede it's kind of acting kind of bizarrely to be honest with you and then both Reiner and Armin basically say, what is that smoke? What is it? Then Gabby's saying that it's coming from that um, shiny thing. And then Connie's getting this weird like sensation. Like he's, it feels familiar to him. It's the same from Rakigo Village. But Levi's saying that we got to fight. And Ackermans and Time Shifters are an exception. They got to fight no matter what. The ex heartwarming moment with um, her father is kind of cut short and yeah they have to pretty much um, fight and fly out and yeah Piek screaming and Falco is like he's really upset and Jan and Connie and Gabby are still left behind because they're not time shifters or Ackermans and yeah this is very sad <laughs> then you got Falco I love the shot with Falco like his time looks so damn cool like the beak and that like you can even see the face inside the beak look how cool that looks you can see the evolution of the jaw titan there while also seeing a new like titan form at the same time Carney and Jean have this really emotional unfortunate farewell all of a sudden like explosions start happening I remember reading this being very stunned like I kind of had to reread it for a second time because it happened so fast like I, I wow like all the titans all the LDs just turned into titans and Reiner and Armin are like how is this even possible then you have the Mali soldiers basically running for their lives because all the Eldians uh, from that little area have transformed and they seem to be running towards the centipede and the centipede is kind of growing bigger as they're running towards it so is it like absorbing the um, Eldians for some reason? I have no idea. But Ran is like you're not gonna go past me he's like you know he's got a lot of confidence in him but he looks very battered. Then you have to stand up between Aaron and Armin and Armin saying you really love this hell don't you Aaron? All right then I'll follow you till the end and then look at these two monsters like Aaron and Armin, I love these two. They're pretty much the same height in this scene. Like, damn. Rhino is trying to tackle against the centipede. 
Connie, Gabby and Jean have all turned into tigers, including his mom and Gabby's parents and PX's parent and Annie's parent and oh my god this is this is this is heartbreaking and PX reaction um look at Rhino and Annie in this shot oh my gosh they look devastated oh my gosh this is so bad and then you have I don't know if it's Rhino or Annie saying when will he pay for it and I think he's talking they're talking about Aaron and then Mika says she's just kind of breaking down she just doesn't want to do this, you know, like, you know, saying we got to kill Aaron. She doesn't want to, she does not want to do this anymore. She can't take it anymore. She wants to go back to their home. Then she kind of has a flashback. I'm guessing it's of the past. Um, Aaron still looks kind of young in this shot. He still has his, like, old hairstyle. I think this is just after they um, went across the ocean. But is this actually reality at the same time? Talking about how she had a long dream, indicating kind of like a cool big call back to chapter one when Aaron kind of woke up, episode one, and then he was like, I just woke up from a long dream. And then he mentions that Mikasa is crying just like in the first episode. So I've got a whole bunch of theories of this, but I'll save it for my theory prediction anyway. Aaron mentions that it's been two months since the war of Mali ended. So this is basically, I'm guessing this is actually set like four years after they made three years after they made it to the ocean this is after them episode one of season four when Reiner and Zeke were battling against the um, enemy like the other nations with Gabby and Falco I'm not too sure if this is actually real but it seems like but he mentioned the genocide and I don't think he talked about this with anyone like talking about genocide like they weren't going to use the rumble to kill people originally that wasn't Zeke's plan so it looks like this might be in his head but I'm not too sure. Aaron telling Mika said to promise him one thing when he dies throw away the scarf and he wants her to live a very long life and to forget all about him. Mika said just being sorry and then you have like all these really sad shots of like um flipping um, Jean and Gary basically just tearing right into shreds and it's just really emotional. And then Mika's putting on the scarf he's like I can't. Aaron is in the mouth I'll kill him. Then you have a really coolly drawn shot of like Mikasa, Levi against the colossal titan of Eren. Eren punching arm in left, right and centre, that's pretty damn crazy and Mikasa finally makes it into Eren's mouth and Eren has this very kind of like, kind of sad but kind of almost relaxed look. He actually almost seems happy to see um, uh, Mikasa there. And then you have the final shot of Mix and Aaron kissing and oh my gosh. And it says to the boy who sought freedom goodbye. And this is the way the second to the last chapter has come to an end. Now it looks like um, she has cut Aaron's spine or not. I can't really tell because he's bleeding. And you don't really see the spine attached to him. But then you have Yamira in the background just kind of like smiling. It's the first time we've seen her smile and damn, like she looks happy and yeah, it looks like this is the end of Aaron and or is it? <laughs> Tell me in the comments down below what you thought about this um, chapter. Overall, I flipping loved it. This was definitely the best chapter in a long, long time. 10 out of 10 for me in an A star. What did you think? Like this video, subscribe for more enemy and manga reactions. But with that said, thank you for watching and as always, Board of Review signing out.